Hey guys, welcome back to, or not back, but welcome to Final Fantasy VII. I had to restart my recording because it was really choppy with the audio and that was definitely not cool. I think that's because I had something enabled that I shouldn't have had enabled, but hopefully it's fixed now and I get to redo three minutes of stuff, which wasn't that much anyway. But who cares? Because for starters, I didn't have a memory card and all that, so yeah, the first thing was terrible. But you guys will never have to see that, so new game. Because, that's right, it's Circle. That's going to throw me off this entire series. Because Legend of Dragoon was X for confirming and Circle for cancel, which most PlayStation games are. And then Final Fantasy games kind of follow more of the uh, Game Boy format. Or not Game Boy, but like Nintendo, where like the A button is where the Circle button is and the B button is where the X button is. So it's kind of like, I guess it's just mapped the select button the circle, but most games use circle for cancel. It's weird. It really is, so. Weirdness aside, we'll watch the opening cinematics of Final Fantasy VII. With noticeably less frame skip and lag, which. See, I've already got like 10 less dropped frames. Uh, never mind. I just got 70. That's. I don't know why my programming system has a problem, you know, making a face materialize, but whatever. Fuck it. And there goes the flower shop lady. Going to do some crazy shit. And there goes the car and a motorcycle. And that is one hell of a casino town thing. Yep. Welcome to Midgar. I believe this place is called Midgar anyway. I also welcome to Final Fantasy VII. Now what I will say about this game is I beat this game in about three weeks on my own time. That was about a month and a half ago, so... I don't really know everything about this game, I'm just going to be playing it off my memory. Which what I did play for this initially, I just used a walkthrough. For the hell of it. So I'm going to try to just do this off memory. We'll see what I can remember. Now I did use a walkthrough for like the first two hours of the game, and I know I missed a shit ton of stuff, so... By the way, we just kicked two train conductors' asses. And the first black guy in the Final Fantasy game, right there. I think. Well, maybe not. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Not even sure if I'm gonna do. Well, I guess I kind of have to. Yeah, that's right, text to run. Oh shit, Shinra. Well, they're all, we don't know they're Shinra yet, but they're Shinra. I'll tell you right now. Also, get used to the look of this game because it doesn't really get any better aside from like the uh, really awesome cutscenes, and he just did. That's right, it's circle. I I'm so. I love this. Okay, whatever. I'm already halfway to my limit break because of that. Well, I would have been halfway there anyway. He just punched me. It did more damage than him shooting me. Oh, Final Fantasy, you're hilarious. Bullets are, eff are ineffective against Cloud's tough skin, apparently. So you might as well just run up and punch him because that's what you've learned. And I've leveled up. Holy shit. Don't remember leveling up that fast. But again, it's been like two months. And up the stairs, that are really hard to see. <clears throat> and who we have here? We've got... Do we even talk to you? Apparently not. Wow, you used to be in Soldier Roll, right? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He was in Soldier. He quit them and is now one of us. Oh, I didn't catch your name. Well, my name is Cloud, and I'm not changing that shit, so... I was gonna hit start right there. Yeah, my name's Cloud. Wearing my big purple clothes because I'm a manly man. Well, Cloud, then. Well... <coughs> wow. I don't care what your names are. Once the job is over, I'm out of here. Wow, Cloud's a hard ass. How are you all doing? Thought you'd never move, Aunt Group. Target's North Mako Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. 
Okay, well, I guess Barrett's gonna be the straight man here. Ex-soldier, huh? Don't trust ya. Ah, we get the name Barrett. And if you push directional button... Okay, I know this shit. Okay, can I run yet? Apparently not. We have to go through this in-game cutscene. Which is not a lot of in-game cutscenes in this game. It's mostly... A large amount of the cutscenes are actually, like... Not in-game. They're, like... Really weird-looking things. And... He, okay, he's going that way. What's up here? Dead end. Oh, by the way, items are kind of really hard to find in this game. And also, though, you can, like, hold L and R to, like, do different things with the D-pad, or you can use a control stick, which I could be using, but I have a hatred for analog sticks for no reason. Or at least for these kinds of games, I tend to have a hatred for analog sticks. Even though, in this case, it's probably much better to be using them. So, you know what? I think I'm going to use the analog stick. Something I don't normally do, but I will make an exception. Where's my attack? Okay. okay. Apparently we gotta activate the analog stick button, my circle button refuses to work, which... I guess means no analog sticks for this playthrough. At least not this session. Let's see, can I even use them right now? No, I can't. Activate this. No, I can't. Yeah, it's PlayStation controllers, they're all kind of screwy. Because you have to basically have it activated before the game starts, or half the time it doesn't work. Because, once again, PlayStation games are weird. I don't know where he's going, but he's going that way. And random encounter. And got more Shinra. We are using machine guns against my face, which is fantastic. Really is. <clears throat> and I just got punched. And that third thing in the back did one damage to me. I have a feeling it might use magic. Well, I doubt it. It's too early in the game for magic. Never mind, it's not too early in the game for magic. Okay. Good to know that his magic does shit for damage. Which, Cloud actually does some magic on, if I remember correctly. I actually really quickly checked that, but... Yeah, I think we have to go north. More than likely. And the music changes suddenly, because we're at where we're supposed to be, so I'm just gonna check my... Inventory, I just want to see. Oh, I don't even have a materia command. But he does have magic, right? Oh, I pressed X because I'm stupid. Um, yeah, he does have magic. How does he have magic if he has no materia? Oh, nothing makes sense. Fuck it. Hey, this is your first time in the reactor? Well, I, isn't it your first time, too? I don't know. No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. Oh, well, plants will make make energy. Uh, people here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of the plant, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. Not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. That's it. You're coming with me from now on. Okay, well, we have Barrett in our party, then. Because Barrett's cool. I can actually talk to these people. Yay, code deciphered. Yay, door opening. Okay, I guess you talk to them to open doors. I hope I talk to you. I think how many people risk their lives just for this code. Well, I guess, like, five of us? Because I think that's how many there are. Take a wild guess, but I think it's five. And there is an item down here. Holy crap, good thing I checked, because I think I completely missed the sign my first time through. A Phoenix down, which I can probably get like 99 of those before like the 20 hour mark of this game. Which, for those of you wondering, I think my clear time for Final Fantasy was about 70 hours because I did grinding for no reason. Okay, push that button over there. Which one? The big one with the down arrow? Yes, indeed. Because when you're not sure, you might as well just mash buttons. 
Little by little, all the reactors will drain all the life, and that'll be that. Not my problem. Planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing the job before security and robo guards come. And Barrett's doing that, like, super angry pose. With his blocky ass hands. Except one's a machine gun. Kind of hard to tell, though. And we're out. What next? I think we go down. I'm probably missing something up there. Fuck it, it's not it's nothing important, to be completely honest. Except I ran into a battle, so. Well now we get to see Barrett and all his skills at work. And Cloud's almost at his limit break, which is fantastic. So it was Barrett with his uh Nothing, because... whatever. Whatever, he, he uses guns and his guns do a lot more damage than theirs. For no explained reason. I like how that thing just kind of exploded into, like, red pixels. It's kind of great. Well, anyway, we're not gonna have much to look at on that menu screen yet anyway. Especially since we don't even have materia yet. But whatever. I think this is the door. Uh, there's a door. Probably missing the land, but I don't give a shit. So, push the OK button in front of a wire to grab onto it. After that, use the directional button to move up and down. Kind of like pole dancing. Except not at all. Thought there was a way to slide down ladders or something. Guess not. Which, by the way, this is in I am right on the ground here, which is why a lot of these are hard to see. And that was a potion. Okay, you're just gonna repeat yourself. Okay, that's... No, as if I didn't know that. All right. I guess it's all Lara, so bam. Whatever. Looks like a Lara to me. And I guess we're going this way. And this way. And now down here. Except enemy encounters, but whatever. Uh, just attack this shit. Okay, these guys are kind of freaky looking. Except, uh, we're probably gonna have them all dead soon, but whatever. Okay, they definitely take more than just one attack round to kill. Which is kind of bullshit, but whatever. They'll be dead soon. And they are doing quite a bit of damage. I'd like to kill these things pretty quickly. Oh boy. Uh, let's not use your limit yet. Is it our, no, it's trying to listen to some characters. So I'd rather save his limit break for the boss. So let's have him defend for now. Let's see if Barrett can kill this thing. Oh boy. This thing might take longer to kill than I thought. And I would. Well, now you both have your limit break, so fuck it. Just use Big Shot. Which is probably gonna kill this thing right away. Yeah. <clears throat> fuck saving limit breaks then. Just use them when you feel like it. Because apparently that's what you do. I believe the boss is pretty much like. Right after this room, too. Pretty sure. I don't remember much from this game, but I think the boss is basically right after here. And that's another encounter. That was really quick, actually. Okay, it's two of these things. And it's a back attack. Of course it is. I think it means we're in the back row, which means we do half damage. Which means, fuck it. And just attack. Well, it doesn't matter for him, because... Well, yeah, it just doesn't matter, because he uses a gun. And this should probably just kill him. I'm not sure why sometimes it zooms in on it, on like enemy attacks and stuff for like seemingly no reason. Because I know it's not like critical hits or anything, it does the same damage, just. Just random, you know. Let's just have like a full on shot of this guy before he uses his attack. 
seemingly random. Yeah, yeah, I know what a save point does game. So, my help is kind of low. What items do I have? I have like five of these, so... Use a couple. I guess I could save. So, let's see, how many hours do I have in this game? We'll find out. Oh yeah, that's my error save file. 77 hours. With like level 99 Cloud. That's the level Cloud was when I went into the final boss. Why? For no reason, especially considering I was using fucking Knights of the Round. Which, literally, I killed Sephiroth in my first turn. Like, my first, like, three attacks killed Sephiroth. It was hilarious. Well, then again, having someone Quadra cast Ultima would probably do that. Yeah, I'll just save the slot, too. So, yeah, because apparently Knights of the Round Summon is kind of super retardedly overpowered, I'm probably not going to be getting that this playthrough. Because for stars, it takes about, like, six hours of fucking with chocobos to get, and I don't feel like spending... Oh, Restore Materia. Sweet. Can I equip that now? Apparently not. Or can I? Yeah, let me, let me check. I don't think I can. Fuck it. When you blow this place, this ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. You set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. Go watch, make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, be my guest. Watch out, this isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Hmm. Guess Cloud's hearing voices now. What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Go we'll set that bomb next to that giant ass wheel. Heads up, here they come. Boss fight. I think. If you can even call the boss. Well, it's a robot, so Bolt should be pretty effective. Search scope, which... Locks him on to me. Okay. That's odd. A6 damage, pretty decent. Not the greatest ever, but... Oh boy. Yeah, like for those of you who have never seen anyone play for this game before, it's definitely different from the earlier Final Fantasies, I'll say that much. And for now, I don't really care about conserving my magic since... Doesn't really matter at this point. So I'm just gonna be spamming the crap out of it for the hell of it. For those wondering, no, that doesn't affect like materia gain or anything like that. <clears throat> At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Like for materia level ups and that, I'm pretty sure you actually casting the magic doesn't affect that. I should know because I've actually taken the time to like level up every single materia I ever got, like to max, for no reason. Well, aside from the ultimate materia. Attack while it's tails up. Oh wait, no, don't, don't attack while it's tails up. That was a weird message. I just got a potion cloud for now. And while I wait, we're just gonna defend and wait till his tail is down because it will counter attack the attack while it's tails up. You could win the fight even while attacking him while it's tails up, but it's a lot easier if you just wait it out. And now you can attack him. Not that really matters that much, but whatever. So I might as well use the magic Cloud has, since I'm pretty sure Cloud actually has one of the highest magic stats in the game. For some reason. Like, Cloud's basically, like, round one of the best with both, like, attack and magic, which is really weird. Most Final Fantasy games don't give you a character that's kind of got pretty good stats in both spectrums. 
So you can really use Cloud as either a straight up me melee fighter or a straight up spellcaster. Because honestly, I, he's a good enough character that you could use him either way. And it wouldn't matter. Take that assault gun. Which is a nice little weapon for Barret, I'm pretty sure. Come on, let's get out of here. 10 minutes to detonation. Which means we should probably be quick in this menu. So first of all, let's just go equip that assault gun because it's slightly better attack. Slightly better. So yeah, now we have to run the hell out of here. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go bar saving, really, because uh, not really a point to it. This, is, this isn't that long of a dungeon that's gonna take me more than nine minutes to get out of here. Unless, of course, I ran into this crap. In which case, I might need to bolt my way through him and attack these bat guys. Anytime, though. No, seriously, it's not like I have a time limit or anything. Well, if this doesn't kill my limit break next turn, will I guess why you killed him. Better not waste your limit break. Hurry up there, Barrett. Hurry up and kill these guys. Jesus, you guys are slow. Can't wait till I'm like level 60 plus where my attack speed thing goes up decently fast. Whip or whip out haste. Whatever, let's just run. And the slowest ladder climb of all time commences. Really not that big of a dungeon anyway. Well, I guess if I missed any items, that would be my chance to go back and get them if I wanted them, but... I don't really think there's anything on the air end of that pipe, so I'm gonna go bar checking. So you have, to, you have to go over here and talk to this guy, I'm pretty sure. You alright? Oh, well, I got stuck. Wow, what an idiot. Okay, thanks. And he's gone. Okay, you want you want to get on the? Thank you. Sometimes liars have a weird like box to them. And yeah, I know that there's a way to toggle like the arrow thing is being on the screen, so you know where the exit points are. Which is actually quite handy for first-time players. But I don't really think I need that. I think I remember where enough of the secrets are about that. I might miss a couple, but I don't really care. And more of this crap. Oh fuck it, you use your limit. The faster you use your limit breaks, the faster you'll get to your next one, so might as well. Like, I could explain how the limit break system works, it's probably easier for you guys to just look it up, to be honest. Because toggles, basically. Because each character can get like four tiers of limit. And each of those tiers, aside from the fourth one, has like two limits within it. Basically the way it works is, uh, in order to unlock your second tier of any level of limit break. Which I don't think this is the way to go at all, I don't know why I climbed up here. That was pointless. Thank you for getting down. Why is that thing even there? Like, seriously, it's like they wanted to throw an item up there and then never did. Okay, please hit the elevator, thank you. Yeah, this game's kind of weird, by the way, with, like, uh, hitboxes that like, you have to be standing in very specific places, and even then... Like, the directional pad in this game does not work very well at all. It's like, if you press left there, you wouldn't be going left, you'd be going... Like, on a diagonal for some reason, because it's kind of weird. Alright, we've got Biggs and Wedge here helping us out. For those of you who remember Final Fantasy VI, Biggs and Wedge were the two generic soldier guys who were with uh, Tifa slash Tina slash whoever the hell you want to call her. She has like like five different names depending on which version you find her in. Like she really does. It's weird. Oh boy. Well, anyways, that's done. 
Might as well just smash the button for these early things because it's not like there's much strategy to it. I think we're almost set up here now. Okay, apparently we're going this way. Oh, dude, you might want to run. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. We just fucking committed a terrorist attack. Sweet shit.